colour can be an integral component to lighting an image. And in this short course, we'll take a look at how we can utilise colour temperature and white balance to motivate and replicate both natural and artificial light realistically and creatively as well as using RGB lighting to expand upon these skills. Colour temperature is measured using the Kelvin scale, with warmer temperatures at the lower end of the scale and cooler temperatures at the higher end. Both naturally occurring and artificial lighting fit into this scale. And in photography or cinematography, you're likely to be using daylight or tungsten lighting. Daylight lighting sits around the same temperature as midday sun, around 5600 Kelvin, whereas tungsten lighting sits closer to an incandescent or halogen household bulb, around 3200 Kelvin. Generally, this means that if we want our image to take place in daylight, we use a daylight balanced light. If we want our image to take place in a lit environment, indoors at night, we use a tungsten balanced light. Now these two colour temperatures are easy enough for our eyes to adjust to, but cameras don't see light and colour the same way we do, and their white balance needs to be calibrated to match the colour temperature that's lighting the scene. Most everyday cameras do this automatically, but when we want to take full control of the colour in our image, we need to set the white balance manually. This can be done in camera or in post-production, if the shot has been captured in a raw format. Now a camera's white balance is also set using the Kelvin scale, although it can be a little confusing at first, as setting the lower temperatures in camera cool down the image whilst higher temperatures warm it up, which is the opposite to what we know about the Kelvin scale when relating to our light sources. An easy way to look at this is that our camera is compensating for the colour temperature of the light in the scene, neutralising it and allowing the colours in our shot to look more natural. The warmer the light on the Kelvin scale, our camera needs to cool down the image to match it. The colder the light on the Kelvin scale, our camera needs to warm up the image to match it. So we could shoot with either a daylight balanced light or a tungsten one. But once our white balance is set in camera to match the light source in the scene, The image is going to look exactly the same, regardless of the colour temperature of light used. This gives us the base for a neutral image, but if we want to create different looks, we can uncouple our camera's white balance from the temperature of the light in the scene, using higher Kelvin ratings than our light source to add more warmth, or lower Kelvin ratings to cool down the image. Our white balance actually allows us to creatively represent any time of day or lighting situation we want. But if we can just balance our camera to whatever temperature lights we're shooting with, and even warm up and cool down our image, what's the point in even having two different temperatures of light in our lighting fixtures to begin with? Well, without anything else in the shot to demonstrate where our light is coming from, we don't always have a clear idea of what the light in the scene is supposed to be representing. How about we turn on this lamp in the background with the intention to make our shot into a warm interior night scene. With the lamp on, we've clued our audience visually into what could be an element that is helping to light the scene, a motivation for the light on our subject. But something isn't quite right. There's a discrepancy 
between the warmth of the lamp and the more neutral temperature of the light on our subject and scene. This is because we used our daylight lighting fixture to light the scene. Our camera is white balanced to daylight to compensate for this, but because we now have an additional source of light in the scene, the incandescent lamp, we are also adding warmth to it as a side effect of white balancing to our daylight source. If we balance to the lamp instead, turning our camera's white balance down to 3200 Kelvin, our lamp now looks more neutral. But we've also cooled down the daylight balanced light that's lighting the scene, making this discrepancy between colour temperatures even more apparent. Let's switch out our daylight balanced light for our tungsten balanced light. Now that our lamp and light source are matching at 3200 Kelvin, we have a more neutrally balanced image. Now with our matching temperatures, we can raise our camera's white balance and add more overall warmth into the image, without any deviation in temperature between our lamp and the light on our subject, achieving our originally intended look of a warm interior night scene, with our lamp motivating the light that is falling onto our subject and scene. Let's change up our shot and have it lit by window light. As we're now working with daylight from the window, we'll white balance our camera toward daylight. So now, rather than the lamp, we'd like our lighting to be motivated by the window in the scene. The daylight coming through is already giving a nice edge light on our subject, but overall, the shot is quite dark, and we'd like it to look like the window is extending further around the room and lighting our subject fully. So, we'll add in our own light. But this doesn't look correct, and you've probably guessed why this is. We used a tungsten light source to light our subject, meaning we once again have these two conflicting colour temperatures in our scene, with no way to find a proper white balance for the image in our camera. Swap out our tungsten light for our daylight balanced light, and now our window and light source match. Whatever white balance we choose now can be used creatively to alter the look of our shot, or even represent different times of day. You can watch the entire five part series now with no wait, featuring an exclusive section not available on YouTube by downloading the whole 46 minute mini court from robellescinematography.com forward slash downloads for just £15. You can also stream the whole tutorial by becoming a patron. In part two, we'll take a look at how understanding the relationship between the qualities of your lighting, along with exposure, can help you to use colour temperature and white balance to creatively and realistically represent lighting situations we see in real life. The Lighting with Colour series is colour graded using Dehancer. Use my code Rob Ellis to get 10% off. Support my channel on Patreon and get extra lighting and shoot breakdowns, along with early, ad-free YouTube videos. I use music from AudioSocket in my videos. Click my referral link in the video description and use the code Rob Ellis when you sign up for a free month of the best and most diverse range of stock music available. Use my code Rob Ellis over at Zyro to get up to 72% off your website or storefront with three extra months free, along with a custom domain for a year. I use Artgrid for stock footage. Get an extra two months free when you sign up using the link in the video description.